Hello everyone and welcome to Katora's channel. I'm Laura and today I'm going to be introducing you guys to my new pets. Today we're going to be talking about my three new pets. So if you've been following me on social media, you know all about my brand new additions, Rapunzel, Flynn, and Pascal. You guys are probably wondering where I got these hermit crabs from. Most of you probably know that all hermit crabs that are on sale as pets are all wild caught animals. Now, I did not buy Rapunzel, Flynn, and Pascal. I did receive them from someone on Craigslist. So they were giving them away for free, enclosure and all. So I thought, you know, I've been looking for hermit crabs and here was the perfect opportunity to get them. So I went for it and it just, it wasn't what I thought it would be when I picked it up. Now, I was expecting a full enclosure. She told me that all I needed was heat source. So I got a heat lamp and a mat. I also bought some food and stuff like that. Um, but I really wasn't expecting to have to get much since she said they already came with the enclosure. So I really wasn't expecting to what I got so let me explain what i got so what i actually got i didn't take any pictures of it because i was just in shock it was a 20 gallon long just like what i have them in now but it was just filled with dirt and not the good kind of dirt it was filled with just soil from outside but i had no idea how bad it was so i brought them home and um got them set up where i wanted them and then I proceeded to check on them. I wanted to make sure that there were three in there because she told me that there might be three. I don't know what that means. So I am looking through the enclosure. I see no water dishes at all. Not even a space for a water dish like she had taken it out. There was not one in there. And then I moved a log that was in there and out came like three cockroaches and i don't mean like dubai roaches or cockroaches that you want in a live in like a bioactive tank i'm talking about giant flying texas cockroaches living inside of this cage and i immediately shut it and read my text messages and she had texted me after i had already left her house letting me know that there might be some roaches in there and that that is the cleanup crew <sighs> no so luckily i had just separated my leopard geckos which i'm gonna do a whole video about soon very soon because it's just a big ordeal that I've been really wanting to talk about so I'm planning a whole video on that so stay tuned for that stay tuned for that because that's coming okay so um, I had just separated my two leopard geckos so I had a free 20 gallon long so I was like thank goodness so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just move them into there and just get this outside and figure something out so luckily I have a bag of cocoa fiber and I had um, a log, plus I also had a 20 gallon log. So I just had this stuff kind of lying around that I had plans with, but I kind of had to go into emergency mode and like get all of this stuff put together. So I put this little thing together for them. Now this is only temporary. I do plan on getting a lot more for them, including water bowls, better than the little tubwares I have in there. A better food bowl I plan on buying better food I'm also gonna be getting them um, more shells I am in the process of getting them right now I've been looking around but it's really hard to find hermit crab shells where I live especially because most of them are painted so it's a little difficult but I will be getting them soon so a video of the current crab habitat that I have set up for them this is only temporary I do plan on adding a lot more to it as I explained before but I wanted to show you guys what it looked like now that way you guys can see the progress as it builds on so here we go
Okay, so now that I've talked about my hermit crabs and introduced them a little bit, I wanted to talk about uh, hermit crabs in general. Um, I didn't want to go over their care really, but I, I just want to give you guys a little information about hermit crabs. Now, first off, hermit crabs are invertebrates, so they do not have a spine. They have an exoskeleton, so they are very delicate creatures, so they go through a molting process. So this is when they shed their exoskeleton and this is how they grow. So in order for things like tarantulas and crabs to grow, they need to molt. You've probably heard of tarantulas molting and stuff like that. Well, hermit crabs do the same thing, except when hermit crabs do it, they bury themselves deep into the dirt. This process can take, take weeks up to months. So you should really leave your hermit crab alone while it's molting. Now it's very important not to bother hermit crab because bothering them during the molting process can stress them out so much that it can actually kill them. So just let your hermit crabs bury, let them be hermit crabs and just enjoy them when they're out. Thank you so much for watching this video. Now I do have one more topic that I want to talk about before I let you guys go. Just we got a really awesome video of it and I'm so excited to share it with you. So I managed to get a video of Rapunzel the second day I had her switching shells. So the whole process took about 30 minutes but I'm going to show you a quick version really quick to let you guys see what it looks like to see these marvelous creatures switch from one shell to the other. So that's what I'm going to close you guys out with on this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below. Let me know anything else, if, any questions you guys have about hermit crabs. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook so you guys can get updates before I do make videos on maybe any new pets that I have. Also, I did want to make one more announcement. I am planning on getting a new pet. So it is going to be a surprise until I get it at the Herps Reptile Expo that's going to be coming to my hometown. So I will videotape the whole process of setting up the enclosure, getting everything ready, and um, doing the background and all that cool stuff. So I'm going to keep you guys updated on that. But I am going to keep what I'm getting a secret just because I want it to be a big surprise when I finally pick it up from the expo. So stay tuned for that and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Have a great day.